Please be advised that everything in my video is purely for entertainment purposes. These are purely my thoughts and opinions and are subjective. I must advise you to please do your own research. All media users found on the public domain and are fair use and fair dealings. Hey guys! So again, the video has been moved. There has been so much stuff coming out. I have written out my video to do with Megan cold calling <laughs> senators and it's all ready to go. But every day there has been, this week has been like an explosion. So I'm going to concentrate on talking about Megan's moment on the red carpet with the dress and then of course i promise that i'll be doing the senators one tomorrow alongside the cambridge one so there we go you have pretty much got me four days a week this week so we saw yesterday that Meghan had her first interview since the Oprah, the big Oprah tell-all now there's been lots of reports speaking of Oprah that she is no longer Speaking with Megan, apparently all traces of that interview have been removed from her Harpo productions. I have not taken the time to look for myself, but I have seen a lot of people on social media that have said that they have tried to find it and they can't. This would add up to the Obama's birthday snub. Obviously, Oprah is there as well. Recently, Oprah had said that she does, she's does. she got a very, very small circle of friends and Meg was not in that bundle of friends. It wouldn't surprise me if there had been some sort of um, disappointment with their friendship. Admittedly, Oprah should have asked more questions. It wasn't really an interview, was it? It was just Meghan and Harry venting their, you know, their, their, their issues with the royal family. But at the same time, she probably took Meghan at face value, as you know, some people do. And it tends to backfire, as again, like I was saying in the video I did yesterday, to do with the court case. Megan was a little bit fidgety in this interview and it's no wonder. Quite clearly her knickers were on fire. For those of you that are from different countries and don't get that terminology, there is the saying, liar, liar, pants on fire. So what has come out with the text messages, with the emails from both of them, that's all been submitted to the courts, it seems that there's been lots of porky pies going round. And because of this, Megan has actually had to apologize to the court Obviously, the thought of being done for perjury hasn't been lost on her. And Omid is in the same boat because his statement to the court was that the authors had no contact with Harry and Meghan. Jason's statement does actually say that Meghan has actually spoken with the authors on numerous occasions. So, whoopsie. But she had that interview all to herself. Now, Harry, as we knew, had the Intrepid Museum uh, Valor Awards that he's handing out, all to do with Salute to Freedom Gala. So Bon Jovi was going to be there, Harry was going to be there. Harry did not go alone. Meghan came with him. Now, the reason why I think Meghan wasn't um, on the guest list, as it were, we weren't aware that Meghan was going, is because Meghan probably wasn't going to go. And I think it's because it went like this. Meg, I know that you're in New York as well, doing your deal book interview, but I've got the thing in the evening um, where I'm going to be handing out medals to veterans, you know, something that I love, something, you know, possibly the only thing that Harry still has left that he loves. The closest that he he's going to get to the military and has been for some time and she was probably like yeah no it's fine I'll stay in the hotel room or I'll go back home I'll fly back home to Montecito to the children and then he let slip that there was going to be a red carpet and a lot of photographers. I can imagine that it went like, quick, where's my black book? Designers, blacklisted, 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 Caroline Herrera, oh brilliant, fantastic and there she was in a bright poppy coloured red dress. Now there's lots of things about this dress that I am going to pick apart shortly. Firstly, I'd like to say it's nothing to do with body shaming whatsoever, so don't start all that nonsense with me. And in addition to this, I'd actually say that the colour looks striking on Megan. She suits that colour red. There's a really lovely picture of her wearing this dress and people compared it to the Duchess of Cambridge or Diana's sort of dress. So she does rock this colour. But was this colour appropriate, again, for something that is pretty much military honours? All right, it's not an official military event, but it's going to be a lot of people in military dress. And Meghan was in that colour red. You couldn't even see the poppy because it matched and she also blended into the red carpet. Fashion faux pas. No, no, no. So I'd imagine that she wanted to get her red carpet moment. 
especially after the Duchess of Cambridge had her amazing red carpet moment. Differences. This is to do with the Military um, Veterans Day, to do with handing out awards to veterans. The Duchess of Cambridge, Catherine, was at a film premiere. Meghan's dress that she wore was completely inappropriate, and I will tell you why. Firstly, I think it's insensitive to Harry that she wore that colour red. The last time that Harry was at a military event, this is when he was wearing his, his last time that he was allowed to wear his red dress uniform and she matched her dress to him. Now, it's not forbidden, but you just don't tend to do that. I've been to quite a few army balls and you just don't see that happen. It was, it was almost like she's like, I'm of equal importance. No, it just didn't go down well with people. But this is his next event as I said that he was supposed to be doing he can't wear his red uniform so Megan's wearing hers instead now where do we start with this dress firstly it was bad fitting um I don't know whether it might have looked nicer on a taller person or something obviously Megan does have her height against her although she does wear bloody enormous heels but the dress in itself I'm sorry Caroline Herrera and um, obviously I'm not going to be asked to wear any of her designs ever in my life but the dress was, I don't know, it seemed to have baggy bits in the crutch sort of area. For some reason, she picked a dress with a train, a bloody great big train. And you can see here that it's obviously got something padding like an 18th century dress when it was popular to have like the cages that sat around your butt to make the dress stick out. It was such an overly dramatic dress that belonged at the Oscars or at the Met Gala. It was not appropriate for this event. It was huge. Also the cut of it, she's got a split right up to her thigh and then she's also got where it is a very low cut dress. But it's also the cut of the dress where her breasts seem like that they have had an argument and they're not speaking to each other. It's that bigger gap. Plus the stitching, the detail in here, it's unfortunately caused a bit of a wardrobe malfunction where it's kind of gone inwards and it's given her like this inverted breast. It's obviously emphasised with all the camera flashes but it, it wasn't a particular flattering dress. As I said the colour looked nice but again the event blending in with the carpet it just didn't work for her at all. Now before she did the march down the red carpet which I'll come to because I've managed to put together a clip for you guys. Yes I am not a body language expert but I have given my opinions on it. There is the body language guy who I follow on Twitter and YouTube and if you've not watched him this is what his YouTube channel looks like and I can't wait for his take on this but it's just my opinion of what I saw what was happening and I'd love for you guys to tell me what you think at the end of the video in the comments. But before they did the carpet event, this is where I think the level that Megan took this, took this to in her mind. This event was not about veterans. It was not about Veterans Day. This was a Vogue shoot. This was a fashion shoot. I mean, look here, they've quite clearly taken a photographer with them, which is natural at these events. Of course it is. But it's the fact that they're walking through the museum. So you've got the photographer. You can almost hear his voice or her voice going, right, stop there. That's it. Walk towards me. OK, pause. I'm just going to run around behind you now. That's it. Look over your shoulders. That's it. I've got the shot. That's it, Megan. Give me a give me a glance. Have that tilt over the shoulder. And that she was in her element. Now there were a few moments where I thought oh maybe she's looking a little bit insecure at this event but then when you look at all of the the pictures of her she was having her moment. It's all about her here and I think that's kind of their whole relationship. She is wearing a big princess dress. The dress was over the top for the event. Megan has worn some really lovely evening dresses and wouldn't it have been wonderful just for once to see her re-wear a single dress, especially when you consider how much money was spent on those dresses. The colour red as well, as I said, you know, it's all to do with like military colours and then she's wearing the poppy and it's just the whole look just screamed, look at me. So I'm going to play you the clip now. I had a go at doing a voiceover. I might have messed it up a bit. 
So here we have the entrance of Meghan and Harry arriving and you can just tell that she is waiting for her moment to stop and pause and say hello to the photographers. This is slightly different because it's obviously a meet and greet to the veterans. Now Harry does introduce Meghan but then she takes the lead and then she starts shaking people's hands. But look at the speed of which she is going down that queue. Whereas Harry is still talking to the first gentleman, he's chatting away to him. He is here, this is his event, he wants to listen to these people. Meghan has a bit of a joke around him here she thinks the guy was from northwestern but you can see harry is really taking his time now that movement there she was trying to get him off her dress but there's a little bit you see it from that angle she's trying to pull him as well he completely ignores her here and obviously the guy that he's speaking to is very engaged but you can see she looks a little bit lost but there's a bit of it it's like um well i want to keep moving harry you're taking your time now this is where megan actually says to him shall we listen Harry clearly ignores her continue speaking did you see that what she did when he pulled away from her he wants to continue speaking and she lets go of the hand and then grabs his arm and tries to get that kind of tug on him Harry moves actually away his body language is saying I'm not done yet back off which is a very rare thing with Harry he is taking his time this is his event he's here to speak with veterans and you can tell that she's not very happy she's not comfortable in this situation because the limelight is not on her You'll see here that they start leaving the carpet. Megan goes to go forward first. Harry actually taps her and says, wait, let everyone else go first. And you can see her arm in reaction. She turns around and says, oh, well, we're supposed to be going this way. And she still continues to pull at him to keep walking. At this point, it seems that Harry just has had enough and he lets go of her hand and instead taps the gentleman next to him on the back. He kind of switches sides. I believe that Meghan is annoyed given her retort when the reporters ask her if she's proud of her husband. It seems pretty sharp and acid tongue to me. I'm always proud of her. See, she's always proud of her husband. Do you think Meghan will be just as proud of him when they get away from that vent later on in the evening when she literally bends his ear for how long he took? How dare he be talking to veterans on the carpet? How dare he be interested to see what other people have to say at the event? He embarrassed her on the red carpet because he didn't do as he was told. She tried to tug him. She tried to claw him. She tried to pat him. He's a good boy, Harry. I don't think Harry got a treat that night, do you? And all jokes aside, I must say that this is the first time in a long time that we've seen Harry actually stand his ground and he did stand his ground and I'm glad that he did. It actually gave me a moment of a little bit of respect for him there. He did take the time to speak to those people which showed that he was genuinely engaged, he wanted to know. Once Meghan had that red carpet moment, she was done. That's why she was, shake hand, hello, nice to see you. Oh, you've got a lovely dress, ah, thank you. She didn't say anything to the lady about her dress being nice, you know, just a polite sort of conversation that you bounce back at people. Oh, you look lovely too, or I love your earrings. It was, ah, yeah, thank you, me. Uh, come on, Harry, go. And he didn't. So perhaps Harry, somehow, maybe in New York, has managed to find his crown jewels. So I will be back with you tomorrow as you can see this is you know i'm actually sticking to this and i will be doing that video because i wrote it out and at this rate megan is going to be president by the time i get this video out now i know that upsets some of you i do get the angry messages of people like she will never make it i know i know you know but the amount of time it's taken me to get this video out it's going to be old news so that's coming tomorrow and finally the palette cleanser that we need before the weekend and that is the Cambridges. Some of you are having a problem with notifications I've noticed. I've done three videos, this is the third video this week. YouTube said to me if I tell you all to go to that notification bell, unselect, then reselect and then make sure that you have everything ticked. I don't know if this helps you guys or not but just keep checking back on my channel and I am going to keep the content up. So as I said I will be back with you very very soon. Take care for now, bye! If you like my video please remember to like and subscribe. Please angry typists, you will be blocked, so save your fingers to time. If you would like to buy me a coffee, please go to my about page and click the link. Love, Taz.